But anyway, I'm not here to talk about math. I'm here to talk about sapphic stuff. Hey everyone, it's Jayla. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the readathons that I'm participating in for the month of February. Because it's February, that means there's lots of readathons going on just in general, but there are some going on for Black History Month, as well as some going on for Valentine's Day and like the month of romance. So I wanted to participate in some of those. I haven't participated in a readathon in like such a long time. Like I've wanted to, but then the idea of constructing a TBR and sticking to it was just not for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it again this month and hopefully I stick to it. But the two readathons that I'm going to be competing in or just participating in, I don't think it's a competition necessarily, but they are going to be Black Author Readathon and Sapphic Readathon. And these are both, I think, primarily hosted on Instagram. I found Black Author Readathon through Books with Brandy Shanae and there's a whole bunch of people hosting it, but I can't list off all the names here. I just don't know them all by heart. I will link all the information down there as far as who to follow, who to, what hashtags to use, stuff like that. And you can follow along. But this is a February reading challenge that showcases black authors. And specifically romance is what I'm seeing here, which makes sense. But basically it's a bingo card and you can complete five prompts to get bingo or you can black out the entire board and you can be entered to win prizes for completing your TBR. So I wanna try and win some prizes, but I just wanna go through the prompts that I'm going to be trying to attempt. I definitely am not gonna try and complete the whole board. Like, I'm just, I can't do that. I have so many things I wanna read this month and I'm hoping that I can get to even five of them, let alone like 17. So yeah, let's just get into the prompts. I'm going to try to complete the middle row of the bingo card. So that means I have a free space in there just for whatever I feel like reading. And then the first prompt is fantasy, paranormal, romance. For this one, I am not quite sure if my book works. I want to read Witches Steeped in Gold for this one. However, this is very vague on the romance front. Like, I was going to try and read this one for Sapphic Readathon, but I don't want to put it on my TBR if I don't know that it is Sapphic. And I don't even know if there's really a romance in this because the synopsis just doesn't tell you. But it's a YA fantasy and if I know YA fantasy there's most likely a romance in here I'm hoping that it's sapphic I'm hoping that I can use this towards the sapphic readathon and like just discover after that it's actually sapphic and that's okay with me but hopefully there's a romance in here period because I need it for this to work out but if you don't know what this is about this is a Caribbean inspired fantasy and it's set in this kind of Jamaica-esque fantasy world where you have two main characters. So one of the main characters is Araya, who is the heir to the throne of the, I think it's called uh, Aika, I don't know how to say it, but Aika is the name of the kingdom, and she has actually been recently overthrown. Her family has been overthrown, and so they've been exiled, and she's kind of just a prisoner um, trapped in a cell. Meanwhile, someone else has taken over her rightful throne. Meanwhile, then we have Jasmine, who is actually the daughter of the person who overthrew Araya. Keith, stay with me here. And so Jasmine actually does not trust her mother. She doesn't like her mother. She doesn't support her mother. And that's because her mother, in order to maintain power, she will do whatever it takes. And that might include killing off her own daughter. And Jasmine's not really about that. Like, she wants to live. And so it ends up being that these two enemies who shouldn't trust each other, should never have even run into each other, have to work together, and they're both trying to overthrow the mother who has taken over Aika. So I'm very excited about this. If it's not sapphic, I don't know what it could possibly be, but hopefully there is a romance in this, and this will be my fantasy romance if that is the case. So the next prompt is a fake dating romance, and I really just don't have a lot of those lying around apparently. So yeah, I'm going to be probably rereading Take a Hint Danny Brown for this one because I did love this book when I read it last year and it's such a cute story and yeah, um, I've talked about this on my channel. I don't want to read it so soon after already reading it. Like I read it in November, I think, so I feel like it might be a little too soon, but I also want to complete this challenge. So <laughs> this book is by Talia Hibbert and it's about this girl named Danny Brown who has kind of written off relationships. All she wants to do is have a nice, loyal sex buddy who doesn't really expect anything else out of her. And then there's Zafir, who is her friend, and they work at the same building because they work on a campus. Zafir has been, like, secretly kind of in love with her for a long time, but he's not going to tell her, like, why would he address those feelings? She's 
clearly not into it. One day Zafir ends up rescuing Danny from a campus emergency thing and they go viral because there's a video of him carrying her out of the building and when they realize how much attention this video has gotten and how much it's like they have to gain from it they choose to do a fake dating scenario so that they can profit off of the viralness of the video. So things happen, cuteness ensues and they kind of just realize that there might be more in this relationship than they thought and more to gain from this whole fake dating thing. This is a very popular one on booktube. Tons of people love this story and they love the first story, um, Get a Life Chloe Brown as well. So I'm sure you've heard about this already. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I am definitely doubling up on this because there is just too much to read and too little time in February. So the other prompt that I was going to do for this is the friends to lovers. And hi, they're friends and they love each other. So yeah, this is going to also be perfect for that. Then I have enemies to lovers, and I'm going to be using Get Alive Chloe Brown for this one. You can clearly see that my taste is so original, and I really did a lot of research before filming this video. My black author romance is in short supply, I will admit, and so I'm also going to be rereading Get Alive Chloe Brown for this challenge. These two, Red and Chloe, do start off as enemies, and I just really enjoyed their back and forth. It's, a, uh, it's not really enemies to lovers. Enemies is a strong word for what they are, but they don't like each other at the beginning of the book, and yeah, it just grows into a relationship from there. This is about a woman named Chloe Brown who deals with chronic pain, and therefore a lot of her life is spent kind of just taking it easy, staying in the house, not doing too much because it's a struggle, and plus she's, gotten, she's gone through some stuff in the past and she doesn't really like to put herself out there. After a near-death experience, she decides, I can't live like this anymore, I have to create a list, and I need to complete that list, and soon Red gets wrapped up in this list and helps her complete some of the little things she had planned. And it's a really funny story, I love Talia Hibbard's ability to create such humor, and it's just really fun. So, again, this is one that's talked about a lot, I don't need to say much about it, everyone loves it. So those were four prompts, and then all that's left is the free space, so I'm going to use one of the books that I have planned for the sapphic readathon as a free space for the black author readathon. Now now let's get into everything I want to read for the Sapphic Readathon. So the Sapphic Readathon is being hosted by Ash and her books from Instagram also, and this one's taking place from February 14th to 27th. So it's a two-week readathon, and I'm super excited to be participating in it. I will keep all the information that you need to know linked down below, who to follow, what kind of prompts there are, everything like that, and I'll link it in the description. So this is just a readathon that centers women loving women, and I just think that's a really cool idea for a readathon. I really want to participate, and I'm so down. So I will also be trying to complete only a row out of this bingo card, but this one is definitely more achievable if I did want to black it out. But I'm going to be doing the center row again, so that means I have another free space in there. Only three prompts for this one that I need to complete. So we have New Author. I chose The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. This has been on my TBR since the last summer. It is a sci-fi story following dimensional travel and obviously two sapphic characters, so I'm very excited about this. Um, I am terrible at explaining sci-fi books that I haven't already read, so here's what I'll just read the thingy. An outsider who can travel between worlds discovers a secret that threatens her new home and her fragile place in it. In a stunning sci-fi debut that's both a cross-dimensional adventure and a powerful examination of identity, privilege, and belonging. So that sounds really good. Um, I know that it's about a girl who is really good at traveling to different dimensions or different universes because you can only go to places where the person that is you in that universe has died. And for some reason, you know, her people are just really good at dying, which is kind of concerning, but it also just makes her really good at her job. And so she's doing that. I have no idea what the conflict is necessarily, but I love that this is going to be kind of a social commentary, and I just need to know what's going on in this book ASAP. The next prompt in my row is to do a backlist book, which is super easy to complete, and which is why I'm going to be reading In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. This is a memoir, and it follows Carmen Maria Machado living in an abusive relationship, um, I actually didn't know that this was sapphic until like two days ago when someone said that it was a relationship between her and her girlfriend and so I feel like that's one that you really don't get to read about often in which the same-sex couple is experiencing domestic abuse. I know what happens, it's just not often talked about, which is a problem. So I'm really excited to dig into this one. I hear that the writing is fantastic and it pulls in all these other references and things and it's just written in such a unique way. So I think this one's gonna be really good and I'm gonna come out of it learning so much and probably crying. Who knows? <laughs> this is definitely not a romance, by the way, so I'm not, it's not a sapphic romance. Um, I don't think there's a rule against reading this for the readathon, even though it's not romantic, but oops, because I'm going to read it anyway. 
So then I have a free space since I am doing the center row. And for the center row, I'm just going to use the group book that the readathon is trying to get everyone to read together, and that is Once Ghosted, Twice Shy by Alyssa Cole. I just read my first Alyssa Cole book in February when I read When No One Is Watching, and it was so good. I don't expect this to be anything like that, but I am ready to be very impressed and probably love this. This is a Reluctant Royals novella, which is a series that Alyssa Cole writes. I have never read anything in that series. I hope that I'm not completely lost reading this because this is just a novella out of a, a larger story. But this is about Lakatsi. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And she is actually coming out of a breakup and she ends up meeting up with Fabiola, who was her ex from a while back, and they don't really know like fully what happened between them and why they broke up and so it's kind of it was like a vague ending and so they spend the day together in New York kind of catching up going on little adventures and slowly Fabiola starts to reveal why they broke up what happened and maybe there's a chance for a second shot at it and I think I'll also just read this as the free space for the other readathon because it's a free space and I can do whatever I want so these are everything that I plan to read for the two readathons going on for February and if anyone else is participating in these, let me know what you're reading. Thank you so much for watching this video if you stuck around this long. Go ahead and leave a comment, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this space right here, and I'll be back with another video soon, so I will talk to you then. Bye!